Hey guys, Joe Cool here, and today we're going to do um, an Enderman farm using open blocks. I thought this was a really neat idea. Um, I was watching some of the Hermit Crafters and this gave me the idea. And so I think this will be a really easy one to do. Um, able to do early game and we'll go ahead and get started now the first thing I'm gonna need to do is get to the end so um, I will be right back in the end alright guys so we've got to the end and you've got your little spawn section here now you may or may not encounter the dragon I already went and got rid of him so he doesn't bother us for right now um, but what you're gonna want to do looking at your map is pick a direction that is the furthest away from everything else now this just happens to be the west. Now if you look up top you can see where, um, let's see if I can do, yeah here we go. So if you look up here you got some excess so obviously you don't want this. So you want to go the furthest away from this and what you want to do is you want to find out wherever this point is and then you want to go 128 blocks past that. What that's going to do is it's going to, or 128 is the recommended um, but it's essentially your view distance, so it's no longer rendered. If it's no longer rendered, it's not um, loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and move out to that location, and I will be right back. Hey guys, we're back. Um, I had to go out a distance of for my view, because I have it set to far. I had to go out to about 160 is where mine starts to despawn. <coughs> 128 is the distance mob spawn so um, but to be certain keeping it out of render distance is the best option um, in here I have a 3 by 5 platform so the catwalk I made with lower half slabs so you don't really have to deal with um, endermen spawning on here or putting torches down um, you want to make it a little bit more safe add um, using um, obsidian obviously that takes a bit of time to do but um, so there's there's that here's the catch-all you know your typical enderman catch-all it's two blocks high now the purpose of these conveyors here now these are Mine factory reloaded uh, conveyors. Recipe isn't too bad. It's um, three rubber, an iron, and two redstone for 16 of them. So um, with this configuration, you could probably get away with doing two of those, and that should be plenty. Right here is only 15. Um, but what that does is it takes the fans far enough away that while you're down here fighting the Enderman you don't um, get pushed around by the fans because they will blow you back even way down here so I can go down here and yeah see me get whacked way back <coughs> but what the fans do is they allow all this area to be spawnable area so and then the distance between this piece here as well as the end of the conveyor belt and where the fans are is a uh, distance of eight so one two three four five six seven and eight and see how it affects me way out here um, the purpose of the three fans um, at is um, there's some dead spots right around the fan so I can sit right here and not get pushed around so if a mob ends up here It'll just sit right here until it decides to move, and then it'll get stuck in the fans and get pushed out. Um, this last piece here is a little more challenging because, like right here, you're still in the effect of the previous section's fans. So, like if I go down here, the previous section's fans is going to blow me into the next section's set of fans, and I'll continue to get pushed all the way down, and then the conveyor belt picks me up and takes me the rest of the way. Um, setting up the fans is interesting. It's based on your angle of the block. 
So it's not like a 90, 45, 180 type thing. So if I'm just a little tilted, see how it's a little tilted there? at a 45 degree angle. So what you gotta do, all you gotta do is be pointing at it, but make sure you're pointing straight. And do the fans last and start from the end here and just travel all the way down and do the next fans. And as you can see, it just keeps pushing me along as it will push the Enderman along until getting picked up by the conveyor belt where you can obliterate them. The next uh, piece you'll want to add is um, this vacuum hopper. This vacuum hopper is pretty cool and obviously you're going to want a place for the vacuum hopper to go. Now on this vacuum hopper um, it has XP outputs and item outputs. It works just like a um, hopper but it sucks up all the items around it and what you want to do is you want to enable the the bottom port now you can tell it's done by you can see the blue down there and then so when something ends up in here it's gonna put it in this chest down here so as you're killing all the endermen all the items will get sucked up and they'll go into this chest and that also leads to if you want to set up an AFK farm you can swap these out with um, iron spikes if you want to just do oh um, yeah that was open blocks does open blocks have it? I wonder what this does I've never used this one <laughs> it's a bear trap <laughs> okay but um, if you if you do have other um, open blocks and extra utilities. Extra utilities has the iron spike. You won't get the XP but if you wanted to make an AFK farm that's the best way to do it. You can just sit right here they'll get pushed over all the items will get sucked into into that hopper there and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> But, okay, so let's kick this off of um, Peaceful, and we'll start showing you how these mobs start spawning. So, yep, see, they're already coming. You could totally make this, um, you can make this a... Uh, what is it 39 block drop whatever the uh, 39 damage is for um, these mobs is it 39 blocks no it's 43 blocks because it's 4 plus the amount of damage so we're already getting a nice collection of mobs so this is uh, oh let's show you the um, a collection here let's use so here's a looting two sword because you'll probably have some type of looting and as you can see it dropped the ender pearls in here and what you can do let's see if I can do this the other thing you can do um, Let's see. Out of the way. <laughs> so you can add that's going to get down there. there. Yeah, loading works a lot better, so you're going to want to use loading. That didn't give me too many. Yeah. 
some of the other mods um, if you're using um, here, let's turn that off <laughs> if you're using extra biomes they have quicksand and if you put quicksand at eye level they'll suffocate <laughs> so yeah I hope this helps you guys out and um, makes a nice easy enderman farm so take care and have a good one